Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great. How was your fourth? Uh, was it exciting? Was it special? Was it just another day? It was just another day here. For the most part, um, I did do a little bit of work on the side job. I worked on the workbench, obviously. I told you about that. Um, and then uh, last night, we went and played pickleball. Um, it's it's kind of nice having the court like right there. We can just walk over there. We went over at about 7 and played. Um, and I uh, had a good time. And then we came back. And um, the dog, of course, when we go away, he's happy to see us. So when we came back. He wanted to go outside, so I let him out. We have the cat now, so I have to let him out in and out. Like, usually, before having the cat, the back door would just stay open, and he could come and go as he pleased because he had a dog door. So we'd lock the screen door and stuff, and he would come and go as we please. We'd shut and lock the door when we weren't here, or shut and lock it at night or whatever. But if during, you know, he could just come and go as he pleases. So he went outside, I shut the door. And then he was taking his time, so we decided to rinse off, because we were super sweaty and disgusting from pickleball. So I got in the shower to rinse off, and during that time, the fireworks started. Now, my dog, like every other dog in America, I think, is scared to death of loud banging noises and um he was left outside like he and he doesn't have a dog house out there he just has a little yard that he pees and poop like i just put a little area in for him um but <laughs> what i now know is that he has built himself a little clubhouse underneath the porch and uh, I think he spends a lot of time under there. Now that I recognize the signs, I think he goes under there quite a bit. Because the smell under there is what he smells like when he comes back inside. stuff. So he, he's at some point burrowed his way underneath that porch. And he would not come out uh, for anything last night. It was one of those like offering him treats, offering him everything. Of course, every time there would be a break in the fireworks, we'd go out and try and get him to come again. And then the fireworks would go off again. And it was like that until probably midnight. So the so we just left him. Like, listen, I, I can't deal with this. Um, so this morning I go out and check on him. I couldn't hear him. He didn't make any noise. I just left him like, whatever. I'll come back later. Malia woke up. She went out and checked on him. She said he's on the other side of the porch. So I went to the other side of the porch and kind of leaned over. Started to try to pet him and he freaked out. Sort of showing teeth. I mean, like, I think he thought he was in trouble. And he's not an aggressive dog, except for if you try to take his food away from him, uh, or if he's hiding. Like, if he's in hide mode, he gets aggressive. And it was like, so, because she thought he was stuck. She was like, he's out, he's whining, I can, you know, he's trying, I think he's trying to get out of, he's stuck. And I was like, I'm pretty sure he's not stuck. Uh, and so after that, I was like, no, he's not stuck, he's just being a jerk. <laughs> I mean, I get it, we left him outside, and I feel terrible, because... You know, that was, had to have been traumatizing. I don't think he slept the whole night because we got him inside like right after nine o'clock this morning and um, he's been asleep the entire time. Like he just came in, got a bath because he was disgusting, crashed and he hasn't woke up yet. Like didn't even hear the mail person come and drop off some sanding discs for me. Um, so poor dude, I feel really bad for him, but it, you know, he's a dog. He's okay. He'll be all right. Um, got sanding discs because my parents gave me, my mom had, or my dad had bought my mom a um, combination belt disc sander thingy. This thing. Um, it's got a 4x36 belt and an 8 inch sanding disc. I have the Harbor Freight version, which... It's okay at best, uh, but I find with the Harbor Freight version, it only has like a six inch disc, and the disc is the thing that I want to use the most. The belt part, I don't necessarily like the belt part of the belt sander. It, it, it's okay, uh, but I like the control on the disc sander. It just feels like if I'm trying to shape something, I've got a lot more control. 
So I bought some 80 grits. I believe I have some extra belts for the belt sander. I did not purchase belts yet. Uh, but I'm going to swap out um, the sanders and get rid of the Harbor Freight one. Probably just put it up for free on Amazon, or not on Amazon, on Facebook Marketplace and let it go. Um, but I think I need, this stand is wobbly as hell. I need to do something about the stand. I think the height is good. I like having the sander up high. Usually when I'm working on this type of thing, can't really bring it over here. Um, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing like curving the end of something and I want to see it. I don't want to be down here taking guesses. So I like having it up here so I can really see and have good control. Um, so having a nice high place to put the sander is a, is a plus in my opinion. Um, so I need to get that set up. Um, I also have to block in that. Well, I, I temporarily blocked in the porch so he can't get under there anymore. Not that I'm like banning my dog from having his hidey hole. I need to just build him a box uh, that he can hide in like some, you know, like a dog house basically. I've said that for a long time that he needs to have a hidey hole. He is a wiener blend, wiener lab. So he is a burrower and he, when, when there's loud noises, when there's, when he's hurt, he likes to burrow like all burrowing animals do. And so taking that away from him is a little bit cruel. I just need to build him a box that he can hide in when he wants to. Um, I've been saying I need to do that inside too, but I've not done that yet because he, he used to, when he was a little pup, before Malia came into my life, he slept with me and he was, he's an under the sheets dog. Like he wants to burrow and be close. Um, she kicked him out of the bed and he hasn't, he hasn't been able to sleep in the bed for a long time now. And so I feel bad about it. I've been saying every time there's a storm, he looks for a place to hide and he's done this aggressiveness thing but getting under our bed before, uh, when he got, when he hurt his back, he crawled under our bed and was super aggressive with us. So we have like put stuff under the bed to keep him out of there because I can't deal with that. Like, dude, like I need to help you when you're hurt. I can't have you going under my bed and dying or something because you're hurt. Um, so I just need to build him like a box that I can put his dog bed in that he can hide in and be his little safe place. Um, so I, that's gonna, I think I'm going to tackle that project sooner rather than later because uh, I feel so bad for him, especially when nights like last night. And it'll probably happen again tonight. It's been happening. Fireworks every night since like Saturday. So you still have all your fingers? Did you do anything exciting? Let me know what you got going on. You got anything you want to talk about this week? I would love some topic suggestions. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is repertoire. It is a noun meaning a library of works that group knows and regularly performs. The Philharmonic's repertoire includes most of the classical standards from Bach, Beethoven, Brahms, and Mozart. Repertoire. R-E-P-E-R-T-O-I-R-E. -E -E. Again, there's another word that I don't think is necessarily uncommon. I think that's a pretty common word. It's in most people's repertoire. <laughs>